So hi friends, my name is Maisurah Kasrina Binti Marsal. I'm from L64 GP Block 4A. As we all of us are aware right now, we are currently in quarantine and because of it, because of this, we are forced to switch from public schooling to online schooling. And as I could see, the majority of us have a very hard time to adapt to it. That's the main reason why I chose the topic online school and homeschool is not for everyone. Let's take a look at how online and homeschool work. Online have virtual online class have virtual classes that the teacher provided so that the student can take it in any place that have internet connection. While homeschool means that the, the parents take in charge of the of their children education, probably due to the different religious belief or the belief that the child cannot progress within the traditional school structure. So the points that are included in this speech are it is much more easier to understand the lessons in school because there's no buffering or unstable internet connection. School, for some students, school might be the only escape from abusive household. Much better concentration in school compared to bedroom. Students will not be able to expand their socializing skill. And home school or online school students might feel alienated once exposed to the real world. Let's talk more about these main ideas. Point number one, escape from abusive household. If the students have a very violent family, they might see school as the only safe environment they could be in at the moment. And with the situation we are currently in, they are forced to stay 24-7 in their own home. This could undoubtedly induce fear and anxiety within the student. And if the class required to use Zoom or any FaceTime app, there would be background filled with shouting and fights. And this would make the student very embarrassed. Point number two, feeling alienated from the real world. In school, there are careers teachers who can guide us on which path should be taken after finishing school. And they could also help us by giving tips, for example, on how to ask an interview easily. But at home, the parents might not be very well educated about these kind of things, thus lowering their, chance, their children's chances to get an internship or scholarship. For example, the student might get rejected from their dream job, even though they are more than qualified, just because they are not confident enough to talk in an interview. This is such a waste of skill, time, and talent. So the conclusion is, yes, public schooling can be very tiring and hard sometimes, but that is the price we have to pay for our very own future. As not to mention, it has more benefits than virtual learning. As Robert John Meehan once said, every children has a different learning style and pace. That's all from me and thank you for paying attention.